guys, welcome to the TV show show. We talk about Game of Thrones. Lots of spoilers headed your way, so be careful if you haven't watched last night's episode. Yep. Uh, be responsible and do not watch this episode. Don't watch Come this. back when you're done with mm -hmm. it. Uh, we're joined with Phil today. Yay! Yay! Welcome, Phil. I saw you guys talking about it. I was like, okay, I want to talk to them. Because I know what two of you haven't read the books, or mm -hmm. yes. and then you have. Yeah. Okay. I just wanna, I just wanna feel you guys out. I feel like I'll be able to tell what's about to happen by reading her. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says, but I want to know what you've predicted ahead of time this season so uh, far. I try not to watch your face specifically because of your initial like <laughs> crazy expressions <laughs> that kind of gave things away. What? But yeah, she actually has a complicated Morse code with her face too. <laughs> other creators. Ah! She's communicating with it's aliens as we speak. <laughs> it's true. It's totally true. Um, but last night's episode was awesome. What was it called? No. Mockingbird. Mockingbird. I think this mm -hmm. by far is the best episode of the season yet. Yeah. yeah. I think it's because like something you learn is that like a well constructed dialogue scene uh, can be just as dynamic as a good fight scene. Yes. And this, oh, and this yeah. episode is filled with great uh, between um, the Hound, Arya, and the mm -hmm. guy that's dying. I saw that scene. I'm like, this is the best scene of Game of Thrones ever. With the and old then, man dying. Yeah, and, and then, and then uh, my favorite, at least. And then you had Bronn saying goodbye to Tyrion. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you had uh, 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 Danny doing cool things again. And then it all ended like with. Like a dude. Uh, yeah, it, then you had Peter doing his big supervillain moment, having his big. Oh, like, yeah. I'm the bad guy. A lot happened. There's a tweet that I highlighted that I want Steve to read because it's going to make him so happy. Okay. Uh, Runar Siverston says. The Khaleesi gets sleazy, the pimp fights for the imp, Sansa gets little fingered, and. <laughs> Can we? Eliza sails <laughs> off the veil. Can wow! We, can we just I always like say, like can we turn little fingered into a thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just got little, little fingered. fingered. <laughs> yeah. Joffrey got little fingered yep. big time. Yep. It's hard to top Joffrey <laughs> choking to death. Everyone's talking about how like this is the best episode, mm -hmm. but I don't know. It was really good, really, really good. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I haven't. This, I'm gonna wait till the season's over to pick my favorite episode. Yeah. So far, I think it is. But you can't top Joffrey choking to death. I don't know. At M Rapik says uh, the scene at the end of this seemed to be more gratifying than the death of Joffrey. I would disagree with the the, the Joffrey scene being smaller than that. But mm -hmm. I feel like that was more of just a release, like, oh, finally. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just finished this marathon that was exhausting yeah. emotionally. We were like, man, Joffrey is the biggest shit in Westeros. Mm -hmm. But it turns out that like we have Littlefinger, who is kind of actually the biggest shit in Westeros. But then we were talking a little bit about Cersei, too. And a mm -hmm. lot of the shit you learn about Cer about Cersei in this episode, some of her past actions, yeah. and how much of a shithead she was to poor Tyrion as a baby, all I could think of was like, of course she's the mother of of, uh, of Joffrey, and she's almost as bad. But she's you, just an adult also, version. You also, I think, understand a little bit because obviously, like, uh, what the birth of Tyrion killed the mother. Yeah, right? they so, bring that up, and I thought that was a little interesting, mm -hmm. like origins of evil type thing. That, like the one woman that she can go to and understand being a woman in this yeah. world gone. Well, yeah, that's also it's rough. Tywin's yeah. opinion of Tyrion is heavily influenced by that too. Yeah. The more we learn about Cersei, the more like she seems as much of a villain as Littlefinger to me. Do you think if Cersei was a guy, she would be as much of a villain if she had the power? Of, uh, as a male in that society. She's constantly fighting against like, if I was a guy, I could do this. Yeah, I mean, and I, you the... give Jamie more like to her dad. I mean, she still has a lot of power and a lot of sway. She's very good at manipulating people. Well, she's the one that got Bronn, his uh, castle and the comfortable yeah. life and, and everything. Lawless. Can I tell you how great that, that scene was so great to me because we've known for a while now that Bronn is a person of, of self-preservation, even mm -hmm. almost He's even a, more a so. Higher sword, sword or what do they call them? Yeah, yeah, a self sword. sword. That's probably the best acting from the guy that plays Braun mm -hmm. in the whole well, yeah, series because it's one of those like I am your friend but I like me but more my and, then, and then Tyrion's like yeah. I get it like this yeah. is why I loved you in the first mm -hmm. place well, because even these are for. adults and they're both slimy and they're both pretty I mean you know Tyrion's done some awful shit in his life too yeah. but Braun, you're right he's usually making wisecracks for the first time you really got that kind of humanity out of him exactly. which you never expected out yeah. of Braun. well you guys foreshadowed the Braun thing last week when we were discussing it last week and we were just talking about the whole Shay Tyrion trial thing mm -hmm. and you guys were like you know I would have expected it more out of Braun. Yeah. that would have made sense I mean, his priorities have changed, it seems. He's a different guy now. He's and getting I mean, older. You gotta settle down. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, he's a kill, big dude. Kill, it's a big dude. He he <laughs> we established that. He's just well, lifting yeah. people with a sword and like throwing them down. Even Braun right. was like, you know, one wrong move and I'm dead. And he, yeah. Braun's fucking good, man. Yeah. He's really good. And if he's terrified of the mountain, I mean, of which is he should be. Who, no. P.S., is on his second recast? Third actor oh, really? from the yeah. mountain now? 
That's funny. And as huge as this guy is, that they just showed last night, he's the shortest of the three dudes. I was gonna say, did they try to cast well, a bigger guy? Do you guy? like with that undershot, that, uh, that Tom Cruise <laughs> yeah. angle yeah. when he was yeah. Cersei? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I'm wondering huge. if it's because uh, the other ones looked just kind of fat, yeah. and this one looks He's got like the Bane body. Well, it's like, it looks like his muscles can stop bullets. When the, the neck like, muscles. Yeah, exactly. It's just like it's just. It, <laughs> yeah, in, in the books they say he's four hundred and twenty pounds. Oh, dear wow. God. Like he's supposed to be like a just fucking huge. How many bananas dude. is that? <laughs> <laughs> bananas for scale. All that stuff was good, and then we had uh, Sansa. Over at so uh, so, well, how are you feeling about Sansa, Mister? I don't like Sansa all the time. Steven. I mean, I do. I, you can't help but feel bad for her. I am, but again, I'm pretty conflicted because she is just kind of like, her naive mindset is really what's gonna be her downfall. But it seems like she's starting to get it now. I mean, all that friggin' pent up Joffrey craziness and she slapped Robin, yeah. is that his name, Robin? Sla yeah. yeah, slapped him around. Slapped him, I was like, oh, now we got Sansa who's like, She's kind of taking matters into it. She's tired yeah. of shit. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about this? At Big Bad Bear ninety says, does Littlefinger's loyalty to Sansa's mother really extend to Sansa, or is she the next out the moon door? I feel like Littlefinger is mostly devoted to Littlefinger. Yeah. Like that's his. That's his. I feel like any devotion. He talks a lot about Catelyn. I think. I feel like that's not. That. Well, The Catelyn in his brain is not the real Catelyn. Like okay, I don't know if I believe one. that. I feel like his Achilles heel is his heart and his love. I feel yeah. like that's there. I feel like she is right now, the, right. his weak point. Right. If, yeah. if mm -hmm. there is one, and it's, I, I think that's the bigger thing, is that mm -hmm. it's finally been revealed what his weak point could be. Yeah. Um, because otherwise, he's just been, he's he's been handling the whole game yeah. Yeah. better than everyone else, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then he made that like pretty ridiculous mistake of kissing Sansa in the courtyard. Was that no. a ridiculous mistake? I mean, yeah, unless he planned to have what's her name see it. They're turning up the crazy on Littlefinger. Cuz hmm. then he's sitting there going like, you like what did he say to her? Oh man, it was so weird. There were a lot of people uh in the Twitter space that are absolutely behind Peter 100% I am too. right now. Wow, I, behind him? Yeah, yeah like uh, at Mini Melism says Peter's the Frank Underwood of Westeros hashtag yeah, TV he show, is. show for Which sure. Which means he's an evil horrible person. Yeah, but like that scene where he's just like he's like promising on all the gods mm -hmm. and like you, there's nothing Holy to him, he will do anything. Yeah. And, I, and you have to yeah. in this world. All the good guys die. It's true. You know? It's I true. Just, I love it. In my opinion, Littlefinger is definitely one of the most interesting characters in the show. Mm -hmm. He's the one character that you're like, what is he going to do next? You don't know. Him and Tyrion, I think, are the most interesting characters. You could do the whole show around those two characters, and I think it would be still as amazing. So it's not that I don't like the characters. I mm -hmm. love Littlefinger. I think he's a great character, but he's also just inherently a bad person. Person. Unfortunately, in this world, mm -hmm. the only people that survive are the people that play the game. And in order to play, play the well. game, you have to be evil as fuck, basically. Uh, a little bit. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I disagree because I feel oh, like I feel. Yeah, like, look at the stars. Oh, but I mean, <laughs> look but at the stars. We, still, we still have Arya. I feel, again, I go back to. I feel like uh, George R. R. Martin's a secret romantic. He makes it, things as difficult for his heroes as possible. So when they succeed. It's that much more gratifying. If uh, what's his face, Red Viper kills the mountain, that's gonna feel so good. If that's Obran gonna feel so good. I think you part think of what give it to us twice. Tyrion being saved by. You know? I, you know, I don't yeah. know. I don't know because if that if he loses, then we lose the Red Viper and Tyrion. Everybody eats it. I want to start calling the Red Viper. Who's what's his name? Oberyn. Oberyn. Yeah. I want to start calling him uh, uh, Jawbeard. <laughs> If you Jawbeard. call him Jawbeard, then people get him confused with Dario Naharis. That's true. He's also Jawbeard. Can we, can we jump to that real quick? Because I thought it was great. I, this whole time, this whole time, we've been sitting there going, I feel like, Steve, you said it yourself, like, don't fall for it. Yeah. And she doesn't. She gets horny, she fucks him, she sends him on a way. It was a great it was, it was great because she still has agency. It's not this mm -hmm. guy wooing her. More like she's she just has a the queen power. that could do whatever she yeah, wants. Yeah, she has yeah. the power. And then Jor mm -hmm. comes in and draws all huffy. And, but she she acknowledges that <laughs> that Dario do doesn't that. matter to me. Yeah. He serves a purpose. You matter to me. Your <laughs> advice love, matters to me. All I can and think he listens to her. <laughs> right, but all I can think of in that scene was like, friend zone. <laughs> yeah. Another thing I loved about the scenes is many of them function as their own little short films. Like that yeah. whole sequence mm -hmm. with uh, with Hot Pie functions as own. Oh, it's own pie. I, the best example for me, <laughs> and I think one of the best scenes in the entire show is when the Hound and Arya stumble on that guy that's dying, mm. and they have that conversation about mortality. 
and he stabs the guy and he's like, that's where the heart is. And then random dude comes in and bites him and then <laughs> Arya stabs yeah, that yeah, guy yeah, in the heart. heart. Yeah, and it's one of those, and that, that, that whole scene plays out. You could take that from the show, put it up somewhere and it functions its own little yes. short film. And it it's its own, exactly, it's it great. Does. And I love Hot Pie uh, with his like uh, dire wolf bread. It looks cool. I great. was like, oh, Hot Pie, is he yeah. the dire wolf? It's so adorable. Put Hot Pie on the Iron Throne. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Arya for a second. Uh, At Lonesome Finger says, are you giving zero fucks about mm -hmm. killing a man, but not before knowing his name? Mm -hmm. Arya's such a badass, yeah, she man. Is. She's yeah. such a badass. I want to see her grow up and just freaking destroy. I want to see her like become the hand of Khaleesi at some point or something like that. Yeah. Like, That's interesting. Well, because Khaleesi's obviously going to rule. Very obviously. She's got a massive army. She's got her dragons. She seems to have her shit together. She's got two of the like best advisors in mm. all of Westeros. And then you have Tywin who's like, so, we ain't got no more money. We're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> like, you know, they're kind of screwed when Khaleesi comes around. But it seems like Khaleesi's having like a, a conflict of like, who she is moral wise yeah. as, as far as like mm -hmm. killing the masters yeah. like what she's gonna do feeling like she's gonna do one thing and then guy comes in he's like you shouldn't she's like you're right but that that's may completely <laughs> change but everything. I think she realizes that she needs to start listening to her advisors more yeah. because there was that big mistake of the guy that was like you killed my dad basically <laughs> like yeah. you know nah. sorry yeah. you what's up with that and sorry, he would have been on dad. your side he would have been a nice guy you guys would have yeah. been friends gone out to lunch and now he killed him so, dad. <laughs> and I think like the, one of the most frustrating things about a ruler in the show is is that they're so um, bent in their own ways mm -hmm. that, they're, that they won't listen to their advisors and say oh fuck it, I don't care what you say, this is what I want. And I think Khaleesi is learning that balance. But you're right, she is still kind of like figuring it out a little bit. But she's a Which kid why still. She's, that's why she's staying there, is to figure it yeah. out. Yeah, and I, I think once she grows up, she's gonna be unstoppable. Those dragons, the army, I think, I wanna see Arya on her side, I wanna see Jon Snow marry her maybe. That's the end game uh, of the I, show. Feel, I feel like it's been such a big build up for her, she's gonna have to take a hit sometime soon. Well, yeah, well, especially since especially since there's at least three more seasons until like, it's not, it's <laughs> not, it's not like, some time. she's not gonna just be chilling there the entire time. <laughs> we only have three episodes left in yeah. this season, which is crazy. Or mm -hmm. boiling up to this big like battle, basically, yeah. which is probably gonna happen in the next episode. Hopefully. We have uh, Jawbeard having his <laughs> wonderful scene with Tyrion okay. yes. and talking about how the story of like when mm. they were when he was a baby, oh, and, that was like, so how good, he was dude. a demon and had his tail between his legs and a one red eye and like, and then it turns out it was just a baby. And then that everybody hates. Yeah. And it's just Tyrion crying in that room. So I, yeah, I honestly thought Peter Dinklage was going to lose it in that scene. I don't know whether it was great acting He's or so something good. deep down was actually connect because it was like, you're going to make me cry, motherfucker. Peter and you Dinklage need to stop. is so good over and over and over this season. And you yeah. just you feel so bad for him. And I love that Jamie really does care about Tyrion. You mm -hmm. really know that like he loves him and cares about him. Even though he said like you can kill a king and fuck your own sister. Yeah. And he's like, hey, mm -hmm. hey. Slow your roll, I'm your only friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man, and just I Calm can't. Calm it down. I, I just, can't, yeah. I just don't know if he's gonna win though. That's the thing. That dude's huge. Yeah. Maybe just so they don't have any more casting problems, they're gonna kill the mountain. They're like, we don't even care about the exactly. We they're don't like, want to recast him, please. I, I think that's George, the point. George, you feel with us? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see a character die, I'm like, that's good, because there's so many characters to follow. It's like, we need to. It's just more like. Oh, remember. come on, you know one dies. Five new ones It's coming. like a Hydra. And by the way, Crazy Liza needed to die. Because it's Game of Thrones, you don't know, like when that scene starts, like we might see Sansa die right now. And then when it reverses, like nope, Liza's yeah. totally gonna be chucked down the mountain. No. I was just sad we didn't get to see Liza like explode like she described, <laughs> like an egg all. hitting the rocks. Uh, like literally there's oh, like just a- her head? Yeah. There's like know, a right? 10 minute scene of you just see the spec. Yeah. How how good was that moment though when he's like I've only ever loved one woman. Oh, and you knew yeah. what he was and gonna say. Yeah, of course you knew, but she didn't. Well, and that's, and that's why it was that that was his super villain moment. That was his like I could just kill you right now, but I want to fuck with but your I'm head first. I want you. First. I want to give you something to think about for that ten well, minutes. Well, but also I think that was for Sansa to hear too. Yeah, I mean, he probably. realized Sansa's there listening to this whole damn thing. Yeah. I mean, and there she is spilling everything about Littlefinger too. I know what you were trying to think of. What uh, when he looks at Sansa and he's like. In a different world, you could have been my daughter. Oh. Yes! Oh. Now yes! let's make out. Right? That was it. I'm like, wait that a minute. <laughs> yeah. so Thank weird. you so much. That was it. So and I'm thinking they're turning up the crazy on Littlefinger a little too much, but you know his weak spot is the Stark girls. This is the last tweet that we'll do for today. At Dan Salamanca says, uh, in regards to the Peter Sansa thing, I saw it as scheming. I saw it as him securing the North. 
I mean, maybe it could, that's all a play maybe. too. Yeah. Honestly, I maybe it's a little column A, a little column B, but I honestly think his crutch is his is his love for the Stark girls. He is so manipulative that you're like, did he know that they were gonna see the kiss so that she could freak mm -hmm. out and that he could be the savior in that moment? I know. No, I don't know the motives. You just know that he's gonna. Advance. You. Know I want to. He's gonna die in like the stupidest way. He's gonna die. In the <laughs> all this work, and he's gonna be like, he's gonna like, choke. Exactly. <laughs> he's gonna be like, a potato. Like, no one killed him. But I also don't want to see him just fall onto a spike or something either, which is another death we see for villains a lot. <laughs> just falling onto a random spike somewhere. Wrestling with Sansa on the on the scaffolding, and he just falls onto the gate. But you're right, Phil. There is kind of an interesting thought that he calculated every. I mean, he's already been behind some of the most major deaths mm -hmm. in the show, and he's. Carefully calculated everything. Why would he stop I being so carefully calculated at this point? I feel like he's smart enough to where he doesn't calculate for everything. He just calculates it so no matter what happens, he wins. Because I don't get the impression Ned was supposed to die. I, mm. I think he was supposed to go to the wall. Now it's going to be fine. I definitely don't think Catelyn was supposed to eat it. And that's that's the moment where it's like, well, Joffrey's done. You know what I mean? You can, uh, that's well, he's you. he's adjusting his plans for like you know little speed bumps yeah. in his road to success. Basically, yeah. it seems. Like. I love Littlefinger so much. I really do. He's a very complex. He's such a good character yeah. in the series. And like in, in season one of the show, I wasn't sure where the show was going mm. with it because everyone that I knew that was watching it was like, meh, that character's not important. I don't like that character. And like as someone who's read the books, you're like, ah, oh, please don't say that. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, you're... And they and they make they always make like odd references to like the smaller characters like during that where he was like he was talking about power and he was like oh okay he he has these higher expectations uh, just kind of like in the uh, two episodes ago where what's his face that's bald like looked at Varys. the Iron Throne and you're like really yeah know, yeah Varys I was just yeah about Varys too so Jon Snow is over at Castle Black mm -hmm. and he's back which was a rhyme, and he's got sna. Should they seal the tunnel, guns. yes or no? I know, and they're like, freaking Mr. Idiot Mc Ruler of the Crows <laughs> asshole jerk off is like, no, I'm not, I'm gonna go he's against only everything. He's temporary rule. I know, but he's an idiot. I like that it just touches on one of the main themes of Game of Thrones, and that is politics sucks. Yes. Yeah. And it keeps and good things from happening. positions of power that, suck. That guy's like, he's so stubborn though, that I feel like if Jon Snow was like, we should keep it open, he'd be like, let's blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> like, like oh, you You're found right. the way. You're right. <laughs> He just oh, needs to so Bugs bad. Bunny him. You yeah. hear that, John? Play season. the opposite game <laughs> next time. Jon Snow can't catch a break over there, but obviously shit's gonna hit the fan at the wall very soon. I really and this guy's giants. gonna be screwed. Yeah. Yeah, giants oh, and I love coming. the thing about the giants too. He's like, the giants will be able to get through it. And he's like, that's three inches of steel. And he's like, yeah, and they'll get through it. All right, you haven't seen mm. these guys, I have. You don't understand, we haven't used any of our CGI budget. <laughs> 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 Please let that be true. I, would lo I, I look forward to seeing the raid on the wall. Yeah. It's gonna, that's gonna be it's exciting, gonna be huge. Helm's Deep type shit. I, I'm sad that it probably won't happen this season. Probably not. Are they gonna uh, have a, like, a second to the last episode big things this season? Because it looks like the big event thing that happened was the second episode. The ninth episode is always some sort of big Shit your pants moment, Wait, but I don't know what it would be. Maybe so, they'll stretch the trial out until episode Yeah, because we have three left, <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna it's get one more. more. Yeah. So yeah, that means probably the one, and by the way, we don't have one next week for Memorial Day, Yeah. yeah. which sucks, oh. we have yeah. a week off yeah. from the show. Yeah. But which once, means you have a week off from this show. But that sucks, because that means that maybe they're gonna make that battle, that like duel, yeah. be the, like, the big thing that mm, happens in maybe. the second to last episode. Let Whatever. us know what you think is going to be the big uh, second to last episode. It's Game of craziness. Thrones. There's big stuff happening yeah, all the time. But what do you guys think the big thing is going to be this season? The big second second to last episode moment. Except if you've read the books, then we don't want to know what you think. Yeah, exactly. You know, probably. Also, hey, it's pajama day. <laughs> and everyone's and if you're in wondering... DC except for Phil. <laughs> yeah, and if you've been wondering why we've been wearing pajamas this whole time. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button if those are things you've yet to do. And uh, there's an annotation bar with other things to click on too. And I want to thank Phil for joining us this episode. Thank you, Phil. Oh wait, we gotta bring Will in. Can we bring Will in? Oh, Will segment. Now it's time for our favorite segment on the TV show show, which is what were Will's thoughts on last night's episode of Game of Thrones? Now I know I am the leading bracket or something for Game of Thrones. Let me tell you, this episode blew my mind. I knew she was gonna die. I knew it. I knew it was foreshadowed in the last episode that she was gonna die, so I knew it. It wasn't too brutal, it wasn't too disgusting. I thought that that was a good way for someone to go out. If I was gonna die in the Game of Thrones universe, that's the way I would die. <laughs> Okay. And what was your favorite part of the episode? Well, when Darthro said to Robin, the king of the veal, that he can't eat there anymore, 
because he, he that veal was not good enough, I was shocked. How, how will you take those measures? Mardufius will never be the same. Are we allowed to say spoilers in this? Go ahead. No. Yeah, Go ahead. spoil away. Uh, the ghost of uh, that kid is going to come back. That kid that was Prince, he's going to come back as a ghost. Joffrey's ghost is going to come back through Jon Snow. He's going to take over Jon Snow's body oh. and take the sword that fell from the, 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 the crystal skull that time and kill kill the Emperor of Mardufius. Wow. That's a good prediction, dude. Woo. All right, thank you, Will. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you not next week, but the week after. Two yeah. weeks. Memorial Day. <laughs> Bye.